Hi YouTube, my name is Jeff and I run a website called vegilcar.co.uk. I take ordinary waste veg to floor, I clean it and I run my car on it. Today I'm going to be talking about running a diesel vehicle on veg to floor in cold winter conditions. In fairness this was prompted by an email from a regular correspondent of Vegil Car, a fellow called Guy, and I'm sure he won't mind if I read his email. It says, Hi Jeff, well I've been mugged by winter. All my stock has gone decidedly jelly-like, even the brand new stuff I'd bought from the shops. I bought these as I thought they would be better for the winter. My waste veg floor is full of crystals. I think the fats that were fluid have gone hard in the cold. The inline filter in my van has furred up and there are all little bits floating around. And it's a very good point that Guy raises here and he's prompted me to do this video, so thanks Guy for that. In low temperatures, vegetable oil typically becomes much thicker and more viscous. It appears to be very cloudy and murky, and it does go furry and jelly-like, just like the guy says there in his email. I don't know whether or not they're crystals, but the, you will certainly see little uh, lumps forming in the oil. And this is not stuff that you want in your engine. It's certainly not going to do it any good. Um, waste vegetable oil, from my experience, is actually even worse than shop for oil. I, I don't know quite why that is, there's so someone out there could tell me. But waste vegetable oil, it behaves even worse in cold temperatures than shop for oil. And if you are settling, as in filtering your vegetable oil by settling, which is a method I advocate in a, a lot of my videos, you'll find that in low temperatures this just stops, it just doesn't want to work at all. Thankfully, there are solutions to running your vehicle on vegetable oil in cold weather, and that's just a matter of adding diesel. Um, so in your regular tank where you put your vegetable oil, add diesel as well. Now diesel and vegetable oil mix very, very well. The diesel thins the oil and makes it much less viscous, and therefore it can flow around the engine without any problems at all. Now the lower the temperature, the more diesel you're going to use. Unfortunately, this isn't an exact science, so I can't give you any real figures as such. But what I will say is when you start to see temperatures sort of freezing, uh, as in zero and below, if we're talking Celsius, um, I would be looking at putting at least 25% diesel in with my vegetable oil at that point. If right, well, sorry, with waste, waste vegetable oil, you might even want to add a little bit more, maybe 30%. And if temperature goes even lower than that, I'd say minus 10, somewhere around there, then 50% would be reasonable. And if you're going any lower than that temperature-wise, quite frankly, I'd just give up on veg oil motoring for a while. It's not worth it in those conditions, it really isn't. Vegetable oil doesn't behave that well in very cold conditions. It, it'll basically become like ice in your engine, and you don't need that, really, you don't need that. So just add diesel, simple as that see how you get on but 25 percent i would say is the minimum in cold conditions 50 percent should get you by especially if you're running on waste vegetable oil now guy also said in his email oh, he said jeff i guess you stop settling at this time of year and the answer to that is no i never stop settling i'm settling oil all, all year round but what you do have to do is you have to make sure that your settling panels are inside don't leave them outside on the patio in this weather and there's a very simple solution to the settling problem and that's to shove an aquarium heater inside the barrel now these things that you see in your, your tropical fish tank they tend to heat the oil between well oil but heat anything between 18 and 24 degrees now i just turn mine right the way down to 18 degrees shove them in the barrel and everything settles the trees everything carries on working regardless of the temperature outside so there's your solution to running your car on veg oil in winter. Do add diesel, do make life easier on your engine. I know it, it's sort of going against everything that's green and economical and what have you, but you have to think of your engine and you have to think of convenience. So I hope this video helps. If you have any questions, check out my website, vegilcar.co.uk, and drop me a line if you need to. Please do subscribe to my videos as it helps me spread the good word of vegetable motoring. So thank you for listening.